I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today I'm gonna teach you how to replace a zipper in your jacket. I've had so many people messaging me and asking me how do I replace the zipper in my coat? Because I love my coat, but the zipper broke and I don't wanna have to throw it away or donate it. I'm here to show you how to put a brand new zipper in that coat and give it more life. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, I'm now teaching virtual sewing classes and I teach classes in person in my design studio. Information for all of that is going to be down below or you can check out SewingAnastasia.com. Supplies for this project are super simple and I bet you have most of them already. You're going to need your seam ripper so that way we can get out that old zipper that doesn't work anymore. You're going to need some matching thread. You're also going to need some pins and you're going to need a new zipper. So make sure you measure the zipper you already have and make sure it's a separating zipper. Also, you're going to need one coat that has a bad zipper in it to replace. You might be wondering, why am I replacing a zipper in this coat when it looks so worn out? Well, I didn't have any other coats that needed a zipper replaced and I was gonna be donating this one anyways, so I decided why not give it a new zipper because I keep getting all these requests for how to replace a zipper in a coat. So this was the coat that I chose to do that to and next I'll be donating it. The first thing we are going to do is remove the old zipper. So grab your seam wrapper and let's get ripping. The first thing we need to do is open up the lining somewhere so that way we can turn our jacket inside out. I'm gonna choose to open up my lining right here. You could also choose to do it over here or over here, anywhere you have a seam really, depending on your jacket. So let's go ahead and open up the seam a little bit, push your seam ripper in there and start picking the stitches. And you're gonna notice it's gonna open up pretty easy, the first pull. Go ahead and do it again. I like to open this up about four or five inches so it's nice and easy to turn inside out. It's gonna be super easy to go ahead and sew this back up in the end, so don't worry about making the hole big enough to get out of. Okay, so now we have a hole in our lining and what we need to do is get our zipper, which is way over there. So you're gonna take your hand, put it in your jacket, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull it inside out. How weird looking, right? We have a sleeve. We have another sleeve. And I feel our zipper. How weird does this jacket look inside out, right? I bet you never knew what the inside, inside of your jacket looked like. So what we need to do now is find where the zipper is encased in between the self and the lining fabric. So my zipper is inside of the seam here. So we have to open up the seam so that way we can get the zipper out. You might be wondering, why am I turning the jacket inside out? Why aren't I doing this from the right side of the jacket? Well, you totally could seam rip your zipper from the right side of your jacket, but when we put it back together, we're going to be in the inside of the jacket because things are sewn right side together and then turned right side out. So this method would be a very professional way to making your zipper look brand new like you've never replaced it before. So my zipper is right inside of here, so I'm going to start taking these stitches away so that way we can get our broken zipper out. So we've got lots of layers in here. We've got top stitches, we've got regular stitches. So take your time with this. Might be a great time to start a movie and just keep seam ripping. Be careful not to push your seam ripper through your fabric. You don't want to damage your coat. So you can see we're through one layer there. Let's go ahead and go to the next one, which is probably a top stitch. Okay, and you can see we're actually getting somewhere now. Let's 
So now you can see here is the zipper. And so we need to just undo all of these stitches along the zipper so we can fully get the zipper out of the jacket. So you'll notice when I'm opening this up, there's rows of stitches in here. So this isn't just one row of stitches, it's multiple rows of stitches. You can see this is where they notch something in manufacturing to line it up. I like to take my seam ripper and go through multiple rows of stitches at one time, and then I give it a little tug because it undoes a few more stitches naturally. You don't want to tug too hard because you don't want to rip your jacket. Look at that, we're getting to the bottom of the zipper. Now I need to go all the way back up the zipper, but we are at a point, which is great. Okay, so this zipper is actually in here with one more row of stitches because it's on the flap for the inside of the jacket. But I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the zipper with the flap and take that off after. So let's go ahead and continue all the way up the jacket. We have our zipper all the way out, and right now it's stuck to the zipper shield. So what we need to do is remove it from the zipper shield. And after we do that, we need to go ahead and take the zipper out of the other side of the jacket. So go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. And your other zipper will not have a zipper shield on it. Or if you've done the other side first, then the next side of the zipper will have a zipper shield on it. I have the other side of the zipper fully removed and now we have the zipper fully out of the jacket. So now we have the zipper fully out of the jacket as you can see, but we still have the zipper flap here on the zipper. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the zipper from this flap here. I like to start at the top of the zipper and just work my way through those first couple stitches because there's usually a back stitch in there. So you have to be careful and then you can remove this pretty fast by just like ripping a little, pulling a little. We're gonna be reusing this flap again. We're gonna reattach our other zipper to it. So make sure you don't damage it. This flap's really important in the jacket because it ensures that nothing gets stuck in your zipper when you're zipping it up. Now the zipper is fully out of the jacket. You could throw it out or you could upcycle it into something else. Get creative. Now grab your new zipper and let's unzip it because we want to take the side that was sewn to the flap, unzip it, place it back on that flap and sew it up. Make sure you're placing the side without the pole on the flap. We're just gonna place that right back on the gold flap. And then what we're gonna do is go over to the sewing machine and just top stitch this down so that way it's in place when we place it back into the jacket. So let's head over to the sewing machine and start sewing. We are gonna have a new jacket for this cold winter day. So I have my sewing machine set up with a straight stitch and I just have a regular foot on. So for the first step, we're just going to be sewing the zipper to the flap at the edge so that way when we work with it, it's together and not all flapping around. We're gonna place the edge of the zipper tape with the raw edge of the flap. So you can see where we had seam ripped the zipper out right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and place that back and then we're gonna go ahead and just stitch on the edge. Your stitches can really go anywhere in here. You just don't want them really close to the zipper teeth. We don't want them to be visible later when we're done with our zipper. So I would say at least a quarter inch away from the zipper teeth when you're doing this seam. You can back stitch to make sure the zipper stays in place. And then just keep everything nice and lined up. Keep lining it up as you go. So your zipper tape all the way up. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Now your zipper should be sewn onto the flap and it should look something like this. Or if you want, you could pretend to be a Rambo. Now we're gonna take this zipper and the flap. We are going to insert it back into the jacket while the jacket is still inside out. So remember, all the seams on a garment are always on the inside of it. So we always sew with our right sides together. Therefore, we're going to put the zipper inside of the jacket. 
So you'll notice this is the lining of my jacket and this is the center front of the jacket. So when I place this in here, make sure that your flap is facing the lining because we want that flap to be on the inside of the jacket, not the outside. So I'm gonna take the flap and place it to the very bottom of the jacket because that's where it was when I took it off. If you don't remember how your jacket was put together, you might want to take notes next time. Notes are always great. So now we're gonna be sandwiching your lining with the flap and the zipper and the center front. And we are gonna sandwich this all the way up to the very top of the jacket. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew it all the way up. For this step, we're gonna be using a straight stitch and we're going to be using the zipper foot. So make sure you put on your zipper foot because this is going to allow you to get nice and close to the zipper teeth. But remember, you don't wanna be sewing too close to the zipper teeth. Because this is a separating zipper, we need a little bit of the zipper tape there for the pole to go up and down. If you sew too close to the teeth, the fabric actually gets stuck in the pole as it comes up and down. So I have all of the layers together and I'm gonna go ahead and sew them all together at the same time with the straight stitch. So make sure you stitch and then back stitch. And keep holding all your layers together, lining them up as you sew, or you can pin them all together first. I like to sew a little bit, make sure my needle's in so it doesn't move, and then line everything up again. Back stitch at the end and cut. So we have our zipper sewn up in the jacket in between the lining and the self fabric. Now what we need to do is grab the other piece of your zipper and we're gonna go ahead and insert it on the other side of the jacket. And we're gonna do it the exact same way as the other side. So I've got the other side of the zipper. This here is my lining and this is my other center front on this side. Now make sure that you have your zipper pull at the bottom, not at the top of your jacket. So this is the bottom hem of my jacket. I wanna get it out of the way when I'm sewing though. So I'm gonna push that to the top right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and sandwich the zipper tape right where I took out the other zipper. So we're at the very bottom hem of the jacket and I'm gonna take the lining side in the center front side and I'm gonna line it up with the top of the zipper tape. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just sew all those up together. And you can see right where that seam is that we ripped out before. Okay, so I've got my zipper foot on and I'm starting at the bottom of my jacket and don't forget to back stitch. Keep lining up all your layers. And work your way all the way up your jacket. Once I get close to the top, I like to take the zipper pull and go ahead and push that into your jacket so it's not in your way at the top of the jacket. When you get to the very end, make sure you back stitch and cut. So we have the zipper in the right and the left center front. And now what we wanna do is turn it right side out through that opening at the bottom. And then we are gonna top stitch that top stitch that was on there originally right next to the zipper. So let's go ahead and turn it right side out. There we go. We have a new zipper in our jacket. So exciting. So no more throwing out your jacket when you don't have a zipper that works. Okay, so you can see our zipper is back in the jacket and all we need to do is sew back down this row of top stitching. So we're gonna use that as a guide where it was before and just sew it down. Okay, so I have a special Teflon foot on because this jacket is a pleather, so I want it to go nice and smooth over it. So I'm going to be stitching right in the groove here where you see this stitch line. So we're gonna go right over that. Don't forget to back stitch. 
And just come all the way up your jacket. Just come all the way up your jacket and back stitch. And cut. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing here to the other side and just go ahead and stitch where that previous stitch was. Come all the way down to the bottom of your jacket and back stitch and cut. Okay, so we have our zipper in, we have the top stitching done, we have the flap on the back, but we have one last step, and that is sewing up the hole in the bottom of this jacket. So you have two options. You can do this by hand, or you can take it, fold the seam allowance together, and just do a little edge stitch, a 16th to an eighth of an inch away from the edge. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're putting this stitch very, very close to the edge. Don't forget the back stitch. Keep lining your seam allowances up, turn them inside. And when you get to the very end, make sure you back stitch. And cut. So you can see that little edge stitch here, and now we have no hole at the bottom of the coat. We did it! We have a new zipper in the coat. Now that wasn't hard at all, was it? I would love to know your thoughts on the video. Leave it down below in the comments, and if you replace a zipper in your coat, I would love to see pictures of it and to post it on my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube stories. So make sure you DM it to me or tag me in it. So let's zip it up and give it a try. There we go. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I would love to read them. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, I'm now teaching sewing classes in studio and virtually. Information about that is at Sew Anastasia, and there will also be a link down below. If you don't follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter and all those other social media sites, TikTok, make sure you follow me at Sew Anastasia. I would love to stay connected and inspired with you. Also, I have a Patreon. If you'd like to donate a dollar on Patreon, it would be awesome and help the studio out so much and keep us going on forever and ever and ever and ever. Sewing forever kind of sounds awesome. So hop on over to Patreon and help out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.